Hi there, it's Nicole for Ellen Hudson, and this is a card showcasing the Hinged Thanks die, part of the Essentials by Ellen brand new release for February 2017. I've paired it with the Otterly Awesome and Otterware stamps and dies for this really cute kind of interactive type of card. The thanks hinged thanks die is so neat. It's really fun and there's lots of different ways to use it. I incorporated it in the scene that I'm gonna create here. So to line it up, I'm just using a T-square ruler or a T-ruler rather to um, position it exactly where I want it to go and then I'm gonna run that through the Sizzix Big Shot die cutting mas machine. Once I have that done, I want to build the scene by applying a little bit of Salty Ocean Distress ink to this panel. So I'm gonna carefully remove that. You can see that it's the letters are all hinged on the left sides. So before I pop any of those up, I'm gonna leave them flat and just add my ink to the scene. Gently rubbing in the ink using the ink blending tool and building up the color gradually so that I get that really nice seamless look on this smooth white cardstock background. Once I have that done, guess I'll add just a little bit more ink here along the bottom. I really want it to be nice and dark along the bottom edge. And I'm gonna pull some of that color even up into the hinged thanks itself. I'm gonna grab the Otterly Awesome and Otterware stamps and dies. I did use just a little tumbled glass distress ink there too, I think, over the thanks. And I'm gonna start stamping my images to build the scene. I've got one little otter here, the small single otter, and I'm gonna tuck him underneath one of the letters. I can also hinge all the letters at this point. I've got my ink applied so it won't hinder that at all. And I think it'll be fun to tuck this little guy back behind one of the letters in the hinged thanks. I'm gonna stamp the images, the solid images, with Lawn Fawn freshly cut grass or jalapeno ink, either one, and some celery stick. The black outline images, images with the Lawn Fawn jet black ink. And then I'm gonna add shading to the solid images with Copic markers. This is really gonna give them kind of that no line coloring look but add that depth and dimension that you get when you color in images with Copic markers and have that great shading. Since I'm using a combination of both solid images and outline images, I want them to both coordinate. If you saw my previous video showcasing the Otterly Awesome and Otterware stamps and dies, I did the same thing. These cards were made to coordinate well together. Since they were all being used in one post, I really wanted them to coordinate and use some of the same elements in both cards. Blending out that color in these, once I have the shading all added to the seaweed images, I'm gonna color in the black outline images using the same colors of ink shown across the bottom of the screen. And then I can start stamping the otters from the otterware. I'm using the small single otter and then the little pair of otters. And what's so fun about these particular stamps and dies is that a couple of the otter images die cut their hands so they can hold on to the different images from the Otterly Awesome and Otterware stamp sets. So if you want them to hold the fish, they can do that, or the starfish, or there's this great little heart that they could hold on to. I thought it was really fun to have one of them hold a fish in my other card. In this one, I'm not actually gonna have them hold anything. There's quite a bit going on already, so I didn't feel like it needed anything else, but in the future, I can create all kinds of different cards by letting them hold on to different elements. I just love how all of the stamp sets mix and match, and you can use different things from different stamp sets, and they work together so well. I'm gonna die cut all these images with the coordinating dies. 
and then start building my scene across the bottom of my card. And I want it to kind of look like a whole underwater scene with all of these seaweed images coming up from the bottom. Parts of them will go in between the letters. You can kind of see there at the top of the screen, I'm laying things out as I'm die cutting all of the images. For the inside of the card, I'm going to stamp an additional greeting. So the front has the hinge to thanks. The inside's gonna have greetings from the Otterly Awesome stamp set, which will read, you are Otterly Awesome. And then I've got the little pair of otters and the fish from Otterly Awesome. And I'll color all of those in with Copic markers. And the fish are gonna be colored with a combination of Y23, 24, and Y23, YR24, and YR27. Quick coloring here. Color all those in really fast. Add some little dot detail to all of the fish. And then move on to my otters with E40, 43, 44, and 47. I also decided to use that little thought bubble from the Otterly Awesome stamp set that has that cute little heart. I think it'll be perfect to work with these otters. The base color for the otters is E43. I don't really have to color their tails all the way down to the bottom. Part of that is gonna get trimmed off of this panel. The mouths are R24 and R89, same with the heart in the center of the thought bubble. Little E47 and 44 around the edges of the otters. And I'll just build up that color, blend and blend until get a nice seamless transition of color and then add some dot detail with my darker two marker colors to really give some interest to these cute little critters. Even went around some of the edges with my darker marker to really make those areas pop. Once the coloring's all done, I'll take the coordinating Otterly Awesome dies and die cut all of these images. Gonna take a black glaze pen and add detail to the noses and the eyes on all of three of the otters as well as the eyes on the fish. And then all I need to do is go ahead and assemble everything. I've got a black cardstock strip that I'm gonna place back behind the hinged thanks to give it that nice kind of shadow look to make it a lot easier to read. I'm gonna overlap these elements and the fish so it looks like the fish are swimming through all of this seaweed here. Plus go ahead and add the little otters down along the bottom edge. Add the little thought bubble above them and finish adding the rest of the elements here along the right side. I really like these seaweed images. They're great for all kinds of different cards or ocean scenes or water scenes that you want to create. Once all of these are applied, or adhered to the card. I just need to trim off the excess that's hanging off the bottom edge. I'll just take some scissors and trim that off. Again, making sure everything kind of overlaps. It gives it a little much more natural look. Tucking the fish amongst the seaweed down there along the bottom edge. Gonna put some nice strong adhesive on the back of this panel and back it with that black cardstock strip. Tuck that other otter in the word, or the letter K rather, and then attach the whole panel to this side fold card base. And finish the card with a scattering of clear droplets to look like water bubbles underneath the ocean. I used a little glossy accents to adhere these, a nice clear adhesive. It's gonna dry nice and strong and hold those in place so I don't have to worry about them going anywhere. 
put a little glossy accents on the heart and the thought bubble. And that is gonna finish off this hinged thanks card featuring the new stamps and dies from the February 2017 Essentials by Ellen release. The supplies I use to create these cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos that you might be interested in showcasing Ellen Hudson Essentials by Ellen stamps and dies. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.